All right, I just want to do a little bit of a recap of fourth rifle season in Colorado. Um, um, so the tags, the over-the-counter tags for uh, leftover tags, I should say, come out in August, and they got one <clears throat> pretty close to my hunt in November. They had over 1,100 tags available for units uh, 11, 12, 13, 211, 23, and 24. So it's a huge chunk of land. And I got these maps. I really concentrated. I looked at the stats to see about success rates from last year. And Unit 11 is a huge area, lots of BLM. And uh, it's very huntable, easy access. Uh, the problem was the number of hunters in that area was pretty high. And so I wanted to avoid that. Um, they also had a higher harvest, but that kind of goes together. You know, more hunters means more harvest. So, uh, the mailman. Anyways, um, unit 12 and 13 also had, um, had, had actually, 13 had a very low number of hunters and a 24% success rate last year, 2020. Uh, unit 12 had probably around 500 hunters in fourth rifle season last year and also about 24% success rate. So not bad, I concentrated on 12 and 13. Um, the only thing I can say about units 12 and 13 is that they have a lot of private land on 12 and 13. Uh, unit 12 will get you close to the flat tops. It'll get you close to a lot of national forests. It has uh, really nice sections of BLM and a lot of state trust lands to, to check out. What really is the determining factor in your success in fourth rifle is usually snow. And we had nothing but nice weather. It got in the teens at Craig, Colorado every night. And the days were in the 40s and low 50s. So really hardly any wind, very mild, not real cold. So I can't really say um, the weather helped at all. If there's any weather, I mean, we're talking any bit, an inch of snow, any kind of precipitation, any uh, rain, the animals get moving. And there are some nice uh, state trust lands. I, I recommend aiming for something in the scrub oak sections of most terrain. So not too low, like in the sage, but you can find elk in the lower sage areas. I've found plenty of sign in uh, the lower areas, but the most sign we saw was in unit 12, and it was just a really steep section, uh, not far from the road, um, just covered in scrub oak and sage. So a little bit of pinyon trees here and there, um, but we found the, another area in unit 13 very close to where we had a, a good a good spot in 12 um, where we picked up this elk uh, this cow elk leg here you can see it's um, it's been cut off so this really feels like a a leg that was it's fresh in other words I think this was a um, the third rifle season cow elk that was taken or very early like the first day of fourth season and again it was in a very steep area lots of scrub oak and you would not believe the amount of green grass in the in the scrub oak areas just lots of green grass like the backyard here just very i mean not covered in green grass but very green in, in very nice sections um, so plenty of food plenty of food to eat for all winter long still very green in the sage still very green in um, the, the scrub oak areas and my kid found this nice five point he's almost a six point if you look real close you see that this is a nice antler shed um, nice five point very typical of the area these units are not um, they're not uh, uh, trophy units by any stretch of the imagination they're they're groomed for quality I mean quantity of elk so you'll hopefully see and then a lot more elk in these areas um, the flat tops generally 
is an area, lots of game units involved in the, in the flat tops, but they're really just, they're not trophy units, but they're really nice huntable units with lots of elk. And that's what we wanted. We had cow tags, so I like to really concentrate on those areas. Um, the weather was just not in our favor and you really, really, really have to have either cold, cold and wet, or cold and snowy type weather in fourth rifle to get anything out of it. Well, that's it. That's the recap for fourth rifle season in Craig, Colorado, and hope you enjoyed the series. Thanks.